this is the second of the look backs for 2022 this one is on beer beer and beanos mainly um and no lights because well yes they do reflect under my glasses and um, the internal camera which is barely 1080p anyway so i think it's interesting to reflect that this time last year we were still in the rona and spoons and lots of other pubs had separators and barriers and you had to use apps yeah come a long way in a year to be perfectly honest so let's start with Beano's and last year it was let's go to new places and drink different beers he says um February Kidderminster it was Kidderminster going from Stroud on a Saturday morning and I stayed in the Premier Inn the big thing about Kidderminster there's no spoons there was a place that was a spoons that closed but not a great deal of beers there and many of the pubs were well especially in the center a bit average yet there were two places that i found and i can't remember the names of either of them but they were both in the city center they both opened at 12 o'clock and they both had a wonderful selection of fine ales really really good and if you go towards the station um there's a real ale house there which opens at 12 even on a saturday oh no nope, sunday which if i'd known i would have gone there on the sunday instead i went up the hill to the railway station um there's a railway museum and it's the i can't think of the name of the line but they have an old great western waiting room where you can get relays it was excellent apart from the fact that um the point of sale system was down um, so it would dash out to the station get some cash and come back and use cash can use cash for ages in a pub in fact i only use cash in chip shops however having said all of that i think i want to go back to kidderminster and i want to jump on the train and go up to Budley, or maybe stay in Budley. and there's a brewery there talking of breweries in march in March, I went to Stroud. Now, Stroud does have a Spoons right in the centre of town. And it opens at 8 o'clock in the morning. I think the bars are 9 o'clock. -er. Not a great deal of else in the way of pubs in the centre of town. But if you take a walk along the canal side, uh, quite a long way, the Stroud Brewery. Really, really good beers. Really popular. Uh, here's my tip. If it opens at 10, get there at 10 because it fills up. Don't book a table because the tables are limited to two hours and really made for people who are eating. Just get there, get in the corner, you're done, drink beer. And buy t-shirts. I would go back there, but um, it's a bit out of town and the public transport is a bit, well, like all public transport at the moment. <sighs> but I did like the spoons the end of august the bank holiday i went to monmouth they are spoons well, spoons is a thing that i'm going a lot about their spoons is um just on the edge of town free car parking the no that's the uh, premier inn what am i talking about the premier inn is just on the cent on the side of town free car parking the spoons is a hotel Opens at 7 o'clock at the morning for breakfasts, bar at 9. I enjoyed it. Um, round the corner from it, uh, there's a, another pub that does, well, it's Beaver Town, so it's Heineken. And then just on past there, there's an old, I don't want to call it bric-a-brac thing. Um, used to be a pub. They sell beers. You can drink the beers outside. They were really good. A lot of other pubs there, nothing out of the ordinary, but... It's really nice to go to, and I liked it a lot. And I did go back at the beginning of December and just spent the whole day in spoons. Malvern. Okay, big mistake here. Um, the Premier Inn is about 
an hour's walk from the centre of town and it's an hour uphill. That was a mistake. The Spoons is a hotel. I'd stay in Spoons next time if I could find a parking space. And round the corner there's a real ale place. Well, not only real ales, but keg ales and cans and bottles and open from 12 o'clock all through the week. It was great. I would definitely like to go back there. So where this year? I'm going to try Tewkesbury. There's a Spoons there, there's a hotel. And possibly it's time to go back to Western Supermare and wherever else the mood takes me. So, four new places, which wasn't bad. Okay, beer of the year. Now, one of the things that happened this year is quite often, pre-Rona, uh, getting to work on a Monday, half an hour in, and I think, I need to have a beano. I'm already bored by this. It's become difficult just to do a Saturday, um, mainly because they tend to be booked out, and that's the Premier Inn and the Travel Lodge, and they're far more expensive, especially on a Saturday, as people stay at home and don't go abroad and such like. So, I really didn't have a lot of time in the Hereford Beer House, and when I did, it used to be a couple of days, and I think this was end of November. The Blood of the Golden Spurs by Cult of Oak. Extremely complex, a little sour, a little tart, a lot going on there, and it was wonderful. Never had anything from them before. Certainly going to look out for their stuff in the future. Cult of Oak. Talking of pubs. The pub of the year. And this is the one that I spent the most time in when I went away. The Pelican. The Pelican in Gloucester, just by the cathedral. Um, now open from 12. That's, yeah, seven days a week. Really get great beers. A lot of keg, a lot of cask, um, a lot of cans and bottles, and a cooler for them both. So if you want one, they'll cool it for you. And if you want it nice and cold, they'll cool it for you twice. And Mike, Mike is a hero, a definite hero. My new pub of the year, well, it used to be the Firefly in Hereford, and then they went, and then it became something else, and now it's um, West Midlands, Wolverhampton, something like that, ales. It's called the Orange Tree. Lots of real ales, couple of cans and such like. Huge filled rolls. Cheese and onion, cheese and pickle, and the ham salads were absolutely wonderful. Going to be going back there very, very soon. New Year. New B knows new MB01. Tap rooms. This year saw the opening of the Broom Monster Tap House in Caffili. Really fast Wi Fi. Um, usually have about 10 keg lines on. Did start with guest cans. Now they tend to be guest ciders in the fridge. Um, but a nice rotating menu. Very friendly. Easy to get to. I like it a lot. And also, in Newport, just off the centre, the Weird Dad Brewery and Tap Room. I've met Mr. Weird Dad, not weird at all. His beers are great. Live and tap screens, well worth going to see. Uh, I think they open at one o'clock on a Saturday. Really, really enjoy my time there. PR of the year. Brew dog, when you're in a hole, please just stop digging, really. You do some great beers, although you really need to make 5am scent the way it was originally. Because now it's not that good, to be perfectly honest. Supporting real ale. Well, obviously there's camera. And well overlooked, spoons. Spoons always have real ales on. They have guest ales on. And I say hats off to them. And I still have probably about two years worth of camera vouchers for them. And if you're in Newport, the real ale pub in the centre of town is the Pen and Wig, where they've now started asking if you're a camera member and giving you camera discount. Which is good. Other things? Hmm... Yeah, I mentioned the Rona. The Gloucester Brewery Oktoberfest is back. I missed it. 
I wore my hat, which I got from the Gloucester Brewery Oktoberfest. It's now in warehouse number four. And here's my tip. Um, it's usually a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Don't book the Saturday. It's packed out. You can't get a seat. It's packed out. Friday and Sunday far gentler, which is what I like. And I will be going back there this year. And possibly if they have a spring beer festival, which they tend to do, I'll be heading there as well because I have a soft spot for Gloucester and it's in within my two hour golden transport area. So that was this year in beers. Um, Kuru Glindua, which I had from Bragdy Tutlol, which I had one of their glasses and some bottles. Hats off to Philip. Um, he was a bit of a hero as well, to be perfectly honest. I think I had 503 check-ins during the year. Not all uniques, but um, it was a good year. And it's sunny today. And I'm looking forward to drinking more fine ales. Anyway, so that's the second. There will be a third one, which will be everything else. Bye-bye.